Hello, my peeps. I am trying again. Uh, this is uh, Tracy, your friend, the neighborhood paper pusher, with starter kit information part five ideas. Uh, you know, they're supposed to get easier the more you try. And I think on the upside, it's I'm finding it's getting easier to fix, to figure out what's going wrong. Um, so that's a win. <laughs> but yes, modem reset, entire computer reset. Uh, my son is reports, happily reports, that he is no longer getting kicked out of his game. So I think we're good. We're going to give it a shot, I guess. Yeah, I said I think we're good. Now, James did who knows what's going to happen, but let's give her a go. Um, I think I will take the other video down, because apparently it's all blurry, too. Um, so I'm going to take that one down. So I, I will just go back for anybody who didn't get to even see any of that one and try to remember what I said. And if not, I'll just make new stuff up. Um, so yeah, today was the first full day of our On Stage at Home, which is our, the annual convention. And uh, it's funny on the timing, because I had written down ahead of time, okay, what are all the things I like about being demo? Like, I got to write this in a concise thing, and it's a lot. So I thought I'll spread it out over the week, and then at the end of the week, we'll have questions and see what people want. So I had each day, and some of the days have lined up so perfectly, because today was all about ideas. Um, my head is so spinning with ideas still. The, the today's session ended about three hours ago, and I still have so many ideas. It's, it's they're just like, whoa. Um, so yeah, it's a great day to talk about ideas. Focus might be an issue, but ideas I got. So I thought I would uh, just show you what's in here. And there's, there's like, I like props because they tend to keep me focused. And so there's one in here that I'm looking for in particular, but in the meantime, I thought I'm gonna show you the whole thing because uh, well, some people have asked me what was in the box, but also um, it's just kind of fun. So when you go to a, a convention in person, you pay a registration fee, and it includes convention goodies to help you sort of get through the event. Get through makes it sound like it's punishment. Help in, enhance the event for you. So now that they're doing it virtually, and I think this is our third one that we've done virtually, uh, two, two of the three-day ones, and then there's also just a one-day one. But now that we're doing it virtually, you have the option to just register or to register and get the convention goodies. Well, I'm like a kid at Christmas when I get a box from Stampin' Up, even if it's just an order I made and I know what's in it, I'm still so excited because when you actually get to see it and hold it in your hands and play with it, it's so much fun. So yes, what was my comment I made earlier? Tracy, you're nervous showing. Yeah, that's me and I'm owning it. I, I got no problem with that. So here's the box and it is like Christmas, full of goodies. Um, I'm usually really good about waiting, and normally I wouldn't open it till the morning of, but when this came in, I was so excited to see what stamp set was inside of it that I opened it right away, which I almost never do, um, and, I'm, and it's a pretty nice one. So I'll, help, I'll try to pass on some of that joy of how I felt when I opened the box. <laughs> okay, so first off, it's a creative company, right? <laughs> Sorry, as soon as I did that, I thought, one of the most annoying things about TikTok is when somebody says they're going to do something and then 17 times they say, but first, I promise that was not my intention. You don't get a plain box when you work stamping up. This is one of the new products. It's a teaser and uh, I love it. But yeah, the boxes are so pretty. I keep them to use for storage because they're prettier than a cardboard box. Okay. Oh, see, that was from last time. It's been it. The way I've got everything set up. I can't see the screen anymore. I have no idea. Um, little personal note. Stampin' Up's a very good company. The CEO does lots of stuff. Um, she has like a little person, a Facebook Live every week showing different things. And um, so, yeah, I don't, it's not like, hey, Tracy, here's your box of stuff, you know, handwritten out. But I do feel like stuff is personalized. So it's a nice touch. Okay. <laughs> That's just going to distract me. Uh, pins. I like the, on the, these are the event pins. And I do save them and I stick them on my, like on my tool thing or on my desk. And they just, they remind me. And then I think back to it and it gives me ideas again. These are trader pins. There's usually six of them. And even with virtual events, uh, people do manage to trade. And people will like mail these pins all over the world because stamp ups in several different markets. Uh, and I think it's so cool. I'm personally not a pin collector. I do like the ones, we said the event ones, uh, but it's just so much fun. And it's so, to see people excited. And if you have the pin they want, you say, here, I'll send it to you. It's just so cool. So if anybody needs a rainbow or a, or an Eiffel Tower, let me know. I got those two. Uh, I don't actually know what the other ones are, and uh, I will actually 
start start uh, you know googling around and looking at some of the posts um, just to see what the other ones are because I'm curious. I like to know about everything. Um, fun fact about Tracy: I like pencils better than pens. And you want to know how you know Stampin' Up is an awesome company? Just a minute, as soon as I figure out how to open the box again, because when they give you pencils, they're already sharpened. It's the little things. Um, aren't these the prettiest pencils ever, though? They're, it's it's almost it's almost like they're so pretty you don't want to use them, but the pencils they're meant to be used. Look how pretty they are. They're just gorgeous. And again, this is a hint at stuff in the product too. Like these, all these little things are teasers of what's going to come up in the catalog. Uh, they're so so try to stay on track. So today's theme of ideas. Um, you get so many ideas during um, on stage. And that's the intent. They give you a notebook. And how cool is this? There's always a notebook and they're always something different. And they're, I love notebooks. So they're lots of fun to see what the different ones are. And I use them a lot. As much as I'm, you know, becoming a digital genius here. Um, <laughs> one day I'll be able to say that without laughing. Um, I, I'm a pen and paper person too. And I love to like handwritten notes and stuff. But look how cool this one is. That opens like a folded over piece of paper. Oops. Oops, I don't know There we go. Uh, it's just cool. But the reason they give you something to write with and something to write on is it is just full of ideas. Uh, today, and this is just the first full day, um, I had breakout sessions on self-care, Instagram, uh, communications, team members, customers. Oh, there were six of them. I think I'm missing one. Uh, like I said, my head's so full of stuff just spinning around. Now, normally when you go to a convention, you do make and takes, and we will be yesterday's comment. Uh, you get to have stuff early, which you know I'm so excited about. Um, but so because we do it, and when and when you go to a convention in person, it's so it's so cute to see because they're so well decorated. The tables are like elaborate, and there's things on them, and the mats are nice, and everything goes, and it's all got like little hints of stamping up on it. And so everybody tries to keep them clean so you can take them because some of these things you can use for scrapbooking or memory keeping or diff various different things or you just decorate your office. But um, So yeah, it's kind of cool. So in a way it's nice because here, instead of getting one that you then make a mess of, there appears to be about six of these placements for crafting and they're really pretty. So first class back when we can do things in person, six people are lucking out with a pretty placemat. And then there's always a bag to carry your stuff in. And another fun fact, I love burlap. Why? No idea. I just do. So every year is a different kind of bag. Sometimes it's a backpack. I think last, was it last year? Yeah, it was a big cooler bag. Um, but it's just to carry all your stuff that you get and ideas and water bottles and whatever else you need. So, and this is a really nice size. Sometimes they're so big that you can't let them just get them going. But this one was nice. Nice, a uh, nice size, nice big handles. So I'm, I'm a connoisseur of, of bags, man. There's, <laughs> there's all sorts of details I like. So this was the fun thing. And then, like I said, the reason I had to open it so quickly, they always come with the stamp set. And the stamp set is from the new catalog. So another thing you get early. So this is the stamp set that came called In the Moment. And that was part of the theme for this is like, take your time, enjoy these days, be in the moment. Now, if you ask me, this is one of the most perfect moments. Laying in bed with a dog in a good book. Uh, cup of tea. And I don't know if she's just staring out the window. I do that a lot. Do nothing, just stare at the window. Um, or, you know, contemplating life. Uh, this one, I see seabird, so I think water. Now, other than the glass of wine, again, perfect moments. So, what I, and I love this kind of line art drawing. So I was very excited to see this and thought, oh, I can make some cards with this. But one of the good parts of staffing up with sharing ideas is today during the, the sessions that we were watching, three different demonstrators from around the world took this stamp set, made a bunch of samples, showed you a bunch of techniques, and gave you a whole bunch of ideas of how you could use it. Uh, we got to see the new catalog last night. That's what totally derailed me last night. Um, so we got to see it last night, and a whole bunch of other demonstrators. How many were there? Four? took different stamp sets, different suites, different products from in there and did the same thing. And holy cow, did we see some samples? Um, I think I have a seven page document just full of pictures, like six or eight pictures a page, I think, of samples of all these things people made with them. 
So while some people get intimidated by how much stuff there is, oh my goodness, how am I going to use it? What am I going to do with it? There is no shortage of ideas. And something like on stage is a great way to get them. So I cannot wait to make cards with the stamp set. Um, this is also food for thought. Very good advice. Sometimes the most productive thing you can do is relax. You got to take care of you first. So, yay. Um, I'm very much looking forward to tomorrow as well. There'll be more stamping, more ideas. Um, like I said, it's, it's ideas for social media, it's ideas for business, it's ideas for crafting and different, different um, products you could use, different techniques for using them. Um, they gave the state of Stampin' Up! today, which is like just stats and figures about the company. It's very cool stuff. Uh, so yeah, I it, uh, and it does, it jogs everything. Some of the ideas I wanted to do, I found out today that there was some resources that people have already worked on to get started. So I will, as I always do, you know, personalize and make up my own, make the tweaks I want. But a lot of the starting points are already there. So all these ideas I have, this actually helped me focus them so you guys will see them a lot faster. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was, in case people weren't aware, there's a little brochure that comes out, which I don't have any of the current ones. I will have a new one shortly. Um, that's for like the very beginner stamper. And it shows some a basic stamp set and some really basic cards just to get you started, just to get your feet in the door. And to give you an idea, when we are once again allowed to stamp together, I'm going to start doing a coffee and cards. And I, and I think I'll do one online. I plan to do one in person at the coffee shop here if we can. Um, I might end up doing another one that's maybe it's a weekend thing just so that because I can do it during the week now. Hey, um, but for, for those who can't come during the week, I might end up doing another one. But the idea of the of the basic like entry level stuff is is fairly simple. So this card, bit of stamping, one punch, tie a knot and a ribbon, and you're done. And I love this card. Right? It's not it's not boring or plain if you ask me. I designed it, so I guess I should I should not be so braggy, but I do. I, I like this card, but it is a quick, simple card to make. Um, here's another one. It's again, it's a bit of stamping, a little bit of punch, a little bit of bling, and you're good to go. Uh, this one was slightly more involved, but not much. It's all one big stamp. Uh, I stamped a little cinnamon on a strip. I do love me my twine, so I made a little bow, and then I colored this door. I made two colors. I color the door. But look at, I, I don't know. Sometimes simple is best. So there's a little brochure that shows some very basic cards. And there's an entire um, movement, I guess I'll say, that Stampin' Up! has been promoting probably for a year and a half, two years now, of simple stamping. And so you can actually search the hashtag simple stamping and find all sorts of things. Each month they give you a thing and they say, okay, it's stamp, ink, paper, and DSP, or stamps, ink, paper, ribbon. So they're all really simple cards. So tons of ideas if you want to just kind of get started or make, or even if you've been doing this forever and you just want quick cards. Then the new catalogs that come out, the mini. So there's one that's January to June and one that's July to December. So the one that we got to preview is the January to June one. And it covers all the spring occasions that happen in people's lives. The July to December one, kind of the holiday one, and so it takes care of Thanksgiving, Halloween, uh, Christmas, plus, you know, a couple other things. So those are the mini catalogs. And those are more designed for, you know, people who've been crafting a bit more. So the samples are a bit more involved. But these, these books are known as catalogs and idea books because each thing they put in here, they give you several samples. And even if you don't want to make this card exactly like this, it's such cute, cute, sweet with all the animals. Even if you don't want to make it exactly the same, you could look at this and say, ooh, like the layout and copy the layout. They didn't have to use this, the same set because you're not going to, unlike unlike most demonstrators, you're not going to have every set in the book. So these are slightly stepped up, but look at all the ideas you can get from this book. And for each one of these suites, so at the beginning of the catalog, there's a page. So what are the chances I can just flip to this page? Um, there's a page that shows the suite and all the elements and all the parts of it, and then a bunch of samples. And then if you go to the back, Oh, I got the right section. Oh my goodness, I got the right page. That's total fluke. And then if you look up here, it'll show you another sample. And it kind of recaps it, but it gives you even more samples in the back. Look at how cute that one is. Um, okay, that was total fluke. Woohoo, things are looking up. So 
these are sort of your, your mid-level samples, but tons of ideas. And then there's the annual catalog, which is the big catalog, which once again, just so you don't all get excited, when these catalogs come out, they do not have coil binding on them, nor is the cover plasticized. But I look at this catalog a lot. I flip through it a lot and I like it to be easier. So I like to be able to, you know, lay flat. So yes, this is more considered the, like the stepped up versions, the avid stuff. So these samples are a little bit more elaborate. And, and even if you don't copy the whole thing, um, they give you such ideas and, and such possibility. Of, and you just look at them and you go, ooh, I want to be able to do that. And here's the thing. If you want to be able to do this and you don't know how to do this, I'm here to help. So I also don't have everything, as much as it might seem like it sometimes, I don't have everything in the book. I do have this one. Um, but even if you like this, but you don't want this flower, well, you know, maybe I can help you with some ideas or you have an idea of what else you'd like to do. We can work on this together. But there, this is this is like a good jumping off point that will tell you all sorts of, of uh, ways you can use the products. I'm gonna turn the page to another one that will show you stuff. So, and, and so I don't own this stamp set. I like some aspects of it. Um, I absolutely love this little puncher that you can just barely see as a teaser in the corner. Makes great little springs. Um, so yeah, I don't have this stamp set. It's not totally my, my thing, my style. But this card, I love the layout of this card. And I do kind of like the colors of it too, just maybe not necessarily the exact images. So recreate this card, keep the parts you like, change the parts you don't. Tons of ideas. Now there's lots on the internet as well. Like I said, you can Google and uh, look at Facebook Live until your heart's content. Uh, there's a ton of stuff available on there. Um, I, I have access to all the same public sites that you do. And then as a demonstrator, three times as many <laughs> private sites, or I just know which demonstrators to follow on which sites for which thing. There's certain ones that are super good at social media. There's ones that are great at like 3D projects. And there's ones who their whole style is, is really clean and simple. So that's where you go to for that. And there's ones who are over the top every time these elaborate projects. Um, so I can give you ideas, but I can also show you how to get to places with ideas. So yeah, one big creative community is what we're looking at, full of ideas. So don't feel intimidated by that. If you are considering thinking, hmm, I could do this. Um, there's lots of, lots of ideas out there to help you do it. Now I'm gonna recap for you really quickly what I've been doing. There is, and I've lost my piece of paper, <laughs> there is, a starter kit sale going on right now. <laughs> Sorry, um, you would not believe what's going through my head right now. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to, <laughs> actually you probably would because you know me, you know I'm, I'm a nut job, but um, I'm trying to lean forward without getting a certain part of my anatomy completely in the camera. Um, yeah, you've all figured it out. You're with me there. Okay, so there's a sale going on right now. I'm usually not a big high pressure, oh my goodness, you gotta buy, you gotta buy. But this sale's awesome and it's convention week. So I'm like, just, I mean, I love this being a demonstrator. I love it every day. I have for almost 10 years. But when I get to this week, I get all fired up and I want everybody else to join me because it's so much fun. Um, and there's, there's so much for everybody. So this sale happened to come out just before this week was happening and it runs for the month. And so I thought, oh my God, there's, I have so many ideas. I have so much to tell people. So I decided I was gonna, <laughs> Try to break it down into manageable parts. So I started doing something each day. Tomorrow I will do my my final one. And at this point, I have no idea what it'll be. It's going to be alive. It might be. Um, I'm having fun playing with technology. If I learn something new tomorrow, who knows what I might come up with. And then if you if you are interested, by all means contact me. Um, you can go straight on this onto my site and join. Like if that's what you want to do, that would be awesome. Um, I am getting a team started. I have one member on my team so far. So it's in the fledgling stages where you get to help like decide how things are going to happen, right? Um, I have all sorts of ideas for, you know, team meetings and challenges and how often we're going to do this. And if we do it in person or virtual once we're allowed and all these different things. But I also realized that I no longer work full time. I get to devote my whole, my whole working time to this. So I, I need to find things that work for everybody. I need a name. I need a name for my team. Um, there's, there's so much fun stuff to be happening. So I want to, I want to bring you all along with me for the ride because 
I do love it. But it's also, this is a wicked deal. So if, if all you want is some great stampin' supplies, this is a great deal. So I'm going to do my final live tomorrow. And then Sunday I will post just like a sort of a one pager with this and sort of a recap of where you can find the information that I posted all week. And then if anybody wants to do the Zoom on Sunday afternoon, just get a hold of me, message me, and I will send you the Zoom link because that's a, we can talk back and forth and ask questions and that kind of thing. And then uh, don't forget there's a sale going next week. So if you want to join, but you want to wait for the sale, wait till Tuesday, which I apologize. <laughs> Thank you, Danelle, for catching this. Um, I kept saying Monday the 16th. And this would not be the first time I have screwed up on a calendar. And everybody else just kept saying the sale started on Monday. And honestly, I never even looked. The sale starts on Tuesday, the 16th, because Tuesday is actually the 16th. So if you want to wait till then, by all means, you'll get more for the, more, you'll get even more for your hundred dollars because stuff will be on sale. Um, but if you have any questions or you need anything, let me know. And then yes, if nothing else on Sunday, you can watch for um, an email that comes out with a little one pager. I am going to um, post, I don't think I can do it while I'm live. Wouldn't that be nice if I could figure that out? Hmm, I'll work on that. I'll have to make a separate, a, a separate post just um, with my link to my newsletter. Uh, my newsletter is also where I send out the bulletin. So any class information or sales or anything like that. So if you haven't already subscribed to my newsletter and you would like to get email information, which is my main source of just, here's the facts type information. I will put a link in a separate post and uh, you can sign up for that and then you will receive the things that I send out. All right, folks, that was fun. We didn't get kicked out. I don't think I rambled too long, although I uh, kind of lost the plot and so I have no idea when I even started. Um, I'm just, I, I love this week. I love on stage. I'm having so much fun, except my head is full of ideas. I cannot wait till after Christmas because I am optimistic that we will be able to stamp together then in person. If not, we're doing it virtually, peeps. Um, but there's so many cool things coming up and I cannot wait to start doing stuff um, again in January. I'm, I'm still holding out hope that a couple of Christmas things will come to pass, but if nothing else, I'm, I'm looking forward and I'm gonna have all this stuff set up so that I can hit the ground running in the new year. So let me know if you need anything. It has been fun. I'm gonna go and try to calm my overactive brain right now so that I can be prepared for another fun day of learning tomorrow and uh, we'll be back here at some point tomorrow night to uh, to chat with you again. Thanks peeps. Have a good one.